Who's up for another round? Then stick around, it's this month's Mixed Doubles. Why hello there YouTube and welcome to this month's Mixed Doubles on Random Horror, the horror review show where every month, on the first Friday of every month, I review two horrors in one go from two different subgenres, but similarities as well in there. This month's theme is Total Silence. And we have two movie reviews, so let's do them. The task, the also the challenge is to do this within four minutes or less. So, because if I did it in more than that, this video would probably go on for ages. So yeah, let's kick off our first review. Hush. So for our first mixed double review, we are reviewing the film Hush, uh, written by Mike Flanagan and Kate Seal, starring, uh, directed by Mike Flanagan and starring Kate Seagull and John Gallagher Jr. and Michael Trucco. So this is a 2016 psychological horror thriller about a writer who's deaf and she lives out in this isolated ca uh, house in the middle of nowhere and you know she just wants to get away from it all where she can write a book in peace and she's deaf and then next thing a creepy guy in a mask soon revealed to just be a nutter played by John Gallagher Jr. Um, you know, taunts her and toys with her and makes her night a living hell and she must fight to survive. So let's get on to my likes and dislikes about this one. First of all, the likes. I liked the, uh, I liked this film. It was like home invasion thriller, in fact it was home invasion thriller and our protagonist was a deaf woman and you know, in, in her head she used like her inner voice to think her way through these things. So I like that she was a smart person and not a dumb one. I also like the man that uh, played by John Gallagher Jr. That's all he's credited as the man. At first he wears a mask that almost looks like sort of like Michael Myers ish like, but um, soon takes it off, ruining the mystery. Um, but I, I also like how unsettling it is, you know. Knowing that you know, our main protagonist is deaf and he could break in at any moment and you know just you know and she won't be able to hear a word, hear a sound or anything because she's deaf. Um Yeah, but in real life the actress who plays our main protagonist, uh, Kate Siegel, uh, she realized she's not deaf. And again, she speaks with sign language, which is what I'm familiar with as well. And you know, just like the next one we're going to review next, you know, this has the teamwork of a couple because, you know, in real life she is Mike director Mike Flanagan's wife, um, and they made they did this film together, and for some reason I think couples that do work on a film together, it well obviously it does work from what I've seen up to now, um, so yeah, any dislikes. I don't really have any because it was a good suspenseful film. It had a good score unsettling and yeah i i was just entertained throughout this film this came available on netflix and i think it's still on netflix so check it out um so yeah final thoughts and ratings hush was good i enjoyed it it was a good thriller you know good film to revisit from time to time so with all that being said i'm gonna give hush i'm gonna give it four machetes out of five so that is the first review of our mixed doubles Let's go to our next review, which is, of course, A Quiet Place. So for our second mixed double reviews, we are reviewing A Quiet Place, uh, directed by John Kidderi, 
Krasinski, uh, also starring John Krasinski, and his wife, Emily Blunt. Uh, this is a post-apocalyptic horror where a family are trying to survive um, in a world where there are monsters out there that feed on sound and if you make a noise you're pretty much dead and they will eat you. So um, let's get on to my likes and dislikes about this film. So first of all the likes. I like this film. Uh, it had a, a you know it, it uh, you know I found it very suspenseful and unsettling and I have to say John Krasinski um, you know, did good for his directorial debut. I'm assuming this is his first directing film uh, that he also starred in with Emily Blunt. Her performance too was great and the the way they acted in this film with the, doing the sign language and the talking um, I didn't mind that because I, I come across a lot of people who do the whole sign language Makaton thing um, so yeah um, and you know there wasn't any dialogue well there was dialogue in this film but there was hardly any dialogue in this film and you know the fact they they could do it visually was good you know i mean it's sort of a modern silent film but it's um but there is just there's like one scene with some see with dialogue when um when the mother and the father emily blunt and john krasinski are talking amongst each other um, and also um, in this film you know there's like a difficult situation the mother is pregnant and in the final act of this film uh, they try to distract the alien monsters with fireworks while she gives birth and she has to stay extra quiet and I thought that was very suspenseful I was like on the edge of my seat thinking oh no what they're gonna do but uh, yeah, they pulled it off great. I also like the look of the monsters in this. They were like sort of the demigorgon from Stranger Things, and they like fed on sound. Um, I thought it was pretty unique. I mean, I've not really seen a film like this before, uh, at least when I saw it last year. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty decent. My dislikes. Uh, I can't really think of any. Another thing I liked was the young actress that they had playing their daughter. Uh, her name Millicent uh, Simmons, am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, she did a great job playing their deaf daughter. Then I find out she's actually deaf in real life, so that explains why she was so good in this film. The fact that they have a real deaf actor in this film. And we discussed in the previous one that the lead actress in this, she wasn't deaf at all, but Anyway, back to A Quiet Place. I thought this was a, a, an okay film. You know, it's, um, you know, I liked it. Enjoyable. So cinematography, directing was good. So with all that being said, I'm going to give A Quiet Place. Um, you know what? I'll give this a three and a half machetes out of five. Three and a half machetes out of five for A Quiet Place. So now with the reviews done, there's only one more thing to do. And that is the shout outs. Let's go. This month's shoutouts go to Jen's reviews from the grave and that sci-fi horror guy. Be sure to check out those two brilliant YouTubers and to tell them that I sent you their way. Their channels are linked down below in the description. So yeah, go for it. Well, that's it for this month's Mixed Doubles. Have you seen any of the films reviewed in this month's show? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out this month's shoutouts, whose channels I've already said are linked down below in the description. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you're new here and you want to see more of me and my crazy carnival of characters. And, uh, yeah, also, yeah, be sure to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description. So, yeah. Excuse me. That's it for this month's Mixed Doubles. So until next time, don't have nightmares.